Yes, I am. I'm me, man, the original Super Black. Representing for Don Sinclair and Unruly Cooley. And you don't know, I mean, go give them song like, I'm feeling lovesick. Send for my woman, me say, quick, quick, quick. In a me up, me feel something I stick. This feeling inside. Sang like all the while she come in a me yard. I go on like she big and she proud. But hey girl, I want you to know that I'm me I the one of the yard. I would have been with you. Yeah, man, you don't know a song like you must mind. And you must mind how you walk and talk. You see a man face, but you can't. Just like magic, my love is just like magic. As far as, yeah, man, you don't know. Just check out YouTube. But right I now, we're representing for none other than Dan Sinclair and Unruly Cooley. You don't know, it's the reggae vibes we are dealing with, keeping it alive. Right, people, 2022. Right. right people, 2022, we're still here at Soundwave Studio. Now I'm about to do an interview with this gentleman here. Yeah to... man, you don't know a super black, you know. Original, you don't know from them time to till this time. Yes, I am. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to do a quick fire question, very quick. We're just going to start off to find out when, what age you started in music and who inspired you? Well, I started out in the music at a very young age, so like about 12 year old, mm. you know, there and, and what really inspired me was um, the music itself plus my, inspire, yeah. my inspiration, you know. Mm -hmm. Did that, you grow up in a household with music? Family around you doing music or maybe they sung? No, my family really, um, I was the, maybe be the first one of my family that I can remember who okay. deal with music. Yeah. I don't know if I had any before. You know, but okay, okay. All right, so what was the first single you ever bought? Bought? Yeah. Well, in the music business, to tell you the truth, I wasn't a collector really. Okay. I wasn't really <laughs> collection records. Yeah, yeah, yeah. To, yeah. to get my music out there. Okay, you know? <laughs> okay. So, you know, there must have been like growing up that there was an artist that you really liked. So you saved your little money and said, let me go out and buy this single. Well, was there someone? Well, in those days, I never, I never collected music, but you know, okay. because we had the jukebox, yeah, yeah, I would yeah. never like go and listen, mm -hmm. like go drop in my coin. Okay. And listen to artists, but I wasn't in gathering. All right. Okay. You know, okay. buying records. Yeah, yeah. I really yeah. never had a sound system. You know? <laughs> That's all right. That's okay. So, schooling. Where did you go to school? And like, what are your memories of school? Well, my memories of school. My first school was a uh, uh, prep school. A lady by the name of Miss Barnes. Okay. And I left from there, and then I went to Tavares Garden. And I left from Tavares and I went to Camperdown High. Right. And that was my memory okay. of schooling. Okay, did you enjoy school? Well, yes, to tell you the truth, I'm glad that, that I went to school because going to school is what gave me the knowledge, you know, to write mm. yeah. music. Yeah, oh, that's good, so yeah. School was good for yeah. me. What inspires you to write then? Where do you, do you go to a certain place to write or, you know, is it things in life that happen that make you write? You know, what inspires you, your writing? Well, um, to be right. The first, the first question that they asked me was, um, if they were, if, um, what's my inspiration? Yeah, for right. Well, to me, writing my music, sometimes even me, myself, um, is wondering who is inspired <laughs> <laughs> because um, you know you know when you're in the music yeah there's a lot of things so there's a lot of ideas you yeah know, yeah you get from everyday life yeah. and you might have your personal ideas but mm. you know I okay. think the inspiration is really, you know, a mystery, you know, because yeah. you might be just walking down the road and then That's the idea right. coming yeah, in. That's yeah. right, So inspiration yeah. is really like a mystery to me, you know? Yeah, no, that's good, that's good. Okay, so what album at the moment are you really enjoying? Well, at the moment, what album I'm enjoying? Um, I enjoy a lot of music, so I wouldn't be enjoying like one album because 
Anything particular you're listening to at the moment? Well, I listen all genuine. Okay. I don't read because why I say that, you know, is because on a Sunday, yeah. I play music at my own, you know, just for my enjoyment, mm. and I play all genuine. Okay. Like, give us that <laughs> everybody, idea. Everybody. Everybody. So, okay. Okay. So it's not. Bob Marley, Peter all right. Tosh, okay. Robert French, Junior Vines, mm. Super Black. You got a real mix going yeah, on there. Yeah, man. I, yeah. You know, I even do a little um, R and B sometimes. Oh, nice. <laughs> oh, nice. Yeah, nothing wrong with that. No, you know. Not me, you know, but I play. You play, yeah. yeah. So I play all kind okay. of music. Okay. You know, nice. Love song. Okay. So if you could work with any artists out there, who, who would you like to work with? Well, to tell you the truth, if I would, would work with any artist, um. I would more like to work with a, a, one of those big rappers. You know? Oh, the big! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that would be a good combination. Yeah, man, one huh? of those big rappers. Yeah. You know, because you know they would do a lot to my career. You know? Yeah, yeah. You know? so, imagine Super Black and Snoop Dogg. Oh yeah, what a mix that would be. Yeah. Man, she come in on me yard. And still coming rapid. <laughs> My God. <laughs> that would be a massive hit, I think, huh? So okay. You understand, you know? Yeah. Okay. So, in your musical journey, what would you recall and think back to and think, I really, really memorize that day as a very good day? A very good day? Yeah. A memorable time for yeah. you in your musical well, journey? To me, my memorable time in the music journey was when. I find my hit songs. Okay. Yeah. Like, you know? Yeah. That is very nice, you know, finding a song like yeah. Girl I would have there with you. Yeah. Or feeling love sick. Mm, you mm. know? Because feeling love sick was my first hit song really. So mm. when I found that song and the moment like, you know, promoters were linking and mm. wanted for some shows in England, you know. Mm. That was a memorable time, you know. So, yeah. You know, okay. Maybe success in the yeah. music is very memorable. Too. Yeah, that's good. So when you did these songs, I mean, did you know? Oh, this is gonna. Do you had that feeling? This is gonna be a hit. Well, to tell you the truth, um, I know that back in the, when I just started, I was singing on some nice rhythm cars. I was doing some song for King James. Cars. Okay. Yeah, like. Girl, I would have there with you feeling lovesick, mm -hmm. bubbling time. Yeah. Rambo, me Rambo, all I do, you know. So, mm. you know, Jamis and Steely was playing the rhythm. So I know that a combination of a Steely and Cleave with a King Jamis, Bobby Digital. Yeah. As the mixer, that mm -hmm. something massive is, you know, yeah. in the making. Okay. Okay. All right. So if you had the power you was a man in the top somewhere in the music industry mm. what three changes would you make or what would you do different what would you do if I was a top man yeah so you changes. was a guy at the top that you got all the power you yeah. make all the calls so what, would, I what do would you do in the music yeah yeah oh would you make any changes you know think you have to be specific like changes from um, what, what really, like what is going on? What is going the on? Type of yeah, lyrics, yeah, anything, or... yeah, anything. <clears throat> well, to tell you the truth, um, Studio One music is mm -hmm. in a class by himself, mm -hmm. music of the 80s in a class by themselves. Yeah, yeah. So, this generation of musicians, them have to be careful because, um, the type of rhythms mm. and the type of lyrics that they are sending out. Yeah. They have to be careful not to know that in the future these songs that they are producing yep. will be a um, lasting memory. Yeah. Like yeah. a girl I would have there with you, yeah. Rambo me Rambo. So mm -hmm. they have to be careful, you know? Yeah. But we have to all understand that our this our generation Mm -hmm. is different from this that's one right. so that's this right. generation is giving us now their type of music but that's right if i should make a change i would just try to tell them to come with more um cultural lyrics mm -hmm. and you know 
stay on the positive side. Yeah, right. more conscious, yeah. Yeah. Conscious, yeah. Because they must all remember that, you know, we have kids growing That's up and right, children yeah. live on That's right, learn. yeah. So if you yeah. produce certain things that the kids are going to be mm -hmm. influenced by, it can spoil yeah. things, you know, okay. for them also. Yeah. yeah. Okay, that's good. Um, so, if you wasn't doing music, what do you think you'd be doing professionally? Well, if I wasn't doing music um, professionally, <laughs> what I would be doing <laughs> is, a, is, a, is, a, is a brain buster, really, because... Do I you have a hobby or a passion in something else, maybe? No, I'd, no. from yeah. the day I was born... Born is music, is just wow. singing and Okay. Before I, I, I made a name, I was doing like an ordinary job or something, you know, yeah. like working somewhere. But okay. since I was, I got the break. Yep. It's just music all over. Okay. Okay. So final question. What can the people out there expect from you in the future? Well, the people them can expect a lot of things from Super Black in the future. I should, you know, check out um, the stuff that I'm putting out now, you know, because yeah. I have so a, you're on YouTube. Yes, yes you? I have yeah. a new video now with a song named "The World." The whole world is changing. Mm -hmm. Everything is rearranging, and right. me also have another song. We have a, a set of song that new song, new material. Yeah. I also have an EP okay. that I put out with about seven songs. Mm -hmm. The name of the EP is "Up Like Seven up like seven. So if people want to really check out that album, they can go on Spotify. Mm. What, can I just and ask, up, why... Up Like Seven, <laughs> yeah. Super Black. Why have you called it Up Like Seven? Well... What is then? It's just an like inspiration, you know. Mm -hmm. Some people say, um, some Rastaman say seven, so it then is a crooked, it's crooked, but um, them say the Almighty takes six days to build the earth yeah. and the rest on the, the seventh. seventh. Yeah. So the seventh is very important, but mm. some people are saying to the seven men, you know, some are, oh, the seven men, you know, so a crooked number that, yeah. so them prefer say eleven, up yeah. like eleven, yeah, yeah. up like eleven, <laughs> but to me seven is not bad, so no. that's the name of the album, up oh, okay. like seven, right. and, as I, and I said already, it took six days to build the world mm. and rest on, on the seventh day, so All the right. seventh day is very, okay. check it out. So final thing from you? Yeah. What is your last message for myself, Unruly Cooley, and Don Sinclair for the works that we do? What is there? Um, keep on doing the good works and, you know, keep on promoting the music. Mm -hmm. So that is my word for you. Just, you yeah. know, keep it, keep the fire burning, the reggae fire right. burning. Yeah. Okay. All right. Thank you very much.